Hello students, welcome back once again to our English Literature class, Chapter 3 of your Literature book, Two Stories About Flying. Other day we had dealt the first part, his first flight, describing about the young seagull. In the second part, the black play written by Frederick Fawcett, we shall see a very, very interesting story. This is an autobiography and full of mysteries. So we can say it is mysterious story. That means the reader is free to make his or her own conclusion of the story. As we see, the name is black aeroplane. What is the meaning of black aeroplane? Is it the color of the aeroplane or something else? Answer to this we shall see afterwards. So to continue, the narrator Frederick Fawcett is living in France, though he is from England. So always he longs for the holidays to go and stay with his family members. This time also, as soon as he got the holidays, he is going to London, his home from Paris, by his own aeroplane called Dakota DS-08. As it happens to everyone, he is looking forward very eagerly to be with his family members and have his English breakfast. He is full of confidence that he will have a very happy journey, successful journey, because the sky is very clear, full of stars, moon is rising behind him. That means he is going towards west. So I have made here north, south, east, west. So he is journeying from east to west. That means from Paris to London. As he is flying high above in the sky, he can see below him the countryside deep asleep because it is the time 1.30 in the morning. He could see the lights of a city, big city. Then he contacted the Paris control, Paris control, and informed that he is on his way to England by this Dakota DS-08. He got the reply that, yes, DS-08, I can hear you. Now you have to turn 12 degree west. That means perhaps he was slightly moving towards north. That means towards northeast. So he was indicated that he should go towards, move towards west. And so he is directed to go towards his right direction so that he can safely land in London. So he is travelling and he knew that he had left Paris about 150 kilometers behind him. Here now he is coming across a huge problem. He sees a huge stormy clouds. They are looking like black mountains. So he is in great problem. Now, he is trying to find out the ways and means to face this huge problem. You know that airplane cannot fly amidst the dark clouds in the strong weather, rainy weather. So he has many options to see how he could face the problem. So he checked, first of all, his fuel. Out of two fuel tanks, he has switched over to the second and last fuel tank. That means he has very little fuel. 
so he cannot fly around north or south of the mountain like clouds he cannot fly above the mountain like clouds also then he found that he cannot go back to paris because it is too far and worst of all that he is not able to contact either paris control or london control so he found that his radio compass and other instruments had stopped functioning so he decided to take risk and fly straight into the clouds so now he is in amidst the clouds and his airplane is jumping twisting in the air now at this juncture a great astonishing thing happened suddenly he sees another airplane side by side flying he saw that this new airplane had no lights on his wings on its wings and it is looking dark he could see only the pilot who was waving at him informing him indicating him to follow him so the narrator like a small child is following him and in this way they are flying through the clouds so here let me go back this new aeroplane has no light that's why this another aeroplane is called black aeroplane and so as they are proceeding he saw some lights as he approached he found that those lights were the lights of runway that means he is reaching an airport then he landed safely he was very happy then he looked around for that another airplane but to his amazement he could not find he looked in the sky also he could not find that another airplane then he went to the control center in that aero airport and there he found a woman sitting down there he asked the woman to tell him about another airplane and that pilot who was so good to help him land safely the woman looked at him strangely surprisingly and laughed and said how can you imagine any other airplane flying in the sky in such a bad weather yours was the only airplane that was flying in the air here in this the narrator was astounded did not know what to say then he began thinking perhaps it was something mysterious had happened so dear students this is the ending of the story which is having open ending you can imagine what could have been the meaning of that new second aeroplane and the pilot who had been so good to him so the message could be dear students perhaps is that we face a lot of problems in our life but we should not be afraid we should be ready to face them and then alone we can have success in our life and go ahead happily so students for today that's all take care keep learning thank you